Hello everybody, Apollo here, and uh, I'm here with my video series of ATC GCI in AWAX for uh, DCS Gaming. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you some of the tips and tricks for uh, doing this stuff for your fellow gamers. And also which tools you might use and how to use them and why maybe. Yeah, sort of like that. But who the fuck am I and why am I telling you this? Well, uh, I got a... Uh, uh here you go that's the page i'm gonna show you so apollo awax um i'm gonna show you this stuff and what the fuck is going on well i've been playing games since uh, the commodore's um uh f15 strike eagle like in the 80s and all kinds of sims like the eurofighter 2000 the microsoft flight simulator the the jane series you know all of that and uh, Total Air War, and, and also the Microsoft Combat Flight Simulator, if you remember that. A side note, the Brewster Buffalo could freaking outturn a pole. That was so cool. Anyway, so I've been playing games all along. And I remember back in the 90s, I have to fake uh, having a, a like cousin or, or, or son or something like that. I'm buying games for my, my, my nephew <clears throat> and all that. Because it was, it was not really legit to do it. But nowadays... It is. Thank God for that. Anyway, in real life, I've been working as a fighter controller. This is one of the actual stations I've been working at. Um, <laughs> pretty old school stuff there, but that was in the 90s and the noughties. Uh, but now um, I am an air traffic controller. And this was uh, many years ago. And this was the radar screen for many years ago. And uh, currently rated as a approach controller in Sweden Control. And, uh, well, this is sort of like yesterday and uh, also i fly a lot of uh, props i got sort of like 1500 hours whatever in in the small props like this sob saphir beautiful aircraft isn't it yes it is yes it is all right so how to control your fellow nerds well you know it's it's most likely about playability. Yes, sort of like having fun. Because if you're gonna uh, have the the real world rules, uh, there are different rules. I mean, the Navy, U.S. Navy, has different rules than U.S. Air Force. So even there, even though it's the same country, they have different ways of doing stuff. And NATO, uh, you might think it as a standard, but there is different countries doing different stuff there as well. So there, you will find that there will be a lot of clashes of the rules and how to do stuff. And may, may Many will argue that this is not the way, this is the way. So I am focusing on having fun and having a lot of immersion for both you and your pilot guys. So that's that's sort of the, the main objective of this stuff. And I'm going to show you kind of what tools there are and, and, and uh, how you can use them. And if you have any questions, I might make a video series of that as well and, and all that. But I got, I got a bunch of series coming up here. And oh, yeah. Uh, that's that's bone clear if you if you want to know he uh, is really grumpy of doing wrong stuff like having your positions lights on on a carrier deck god forbid and dropping tanks and stuff but he's my friend he's been with me a long time anyway so <laughs> let's see what we can do uh, oh yeah yeah the um the ATC stuff, I will focus on uh, ICAO, the, the you know international standards of, of how to air traffic control stuff. Uh, so, so you might recognize that. Um, so every country might have a different way of doing that, but I would try to keep it uh, purely according to the docs there. So yeah. All right. So let's have a look. Let's start to look at the DCS. And the DCS here, of course, you gotta have that for DCS gaming, duh. Uh, and you got a lot of good uh, tricks and, and stuff you can use here. You can use the F2 view, which you got here. And you see this beautiful sentry flying around the AWACS. And uh, you can also use the F3 view if you want to have a nice, like, moving target shot. And the F2 view, you can sort of move it around with your mouse, of course. and focus in and out and then maybe see other traffic if you're going to tell them that you got traffic at your 11 o'clock low and ring ding and then you can look at that direction and see if he sees it that's sort of cheating but hmm, it's a tool you can use it all right and other than that yeah of course you got the f10 map uh which you can see here you got um this is 
uh, show all. You can set this in the settings of creating the game. So you can see if you have uh, like uh, your own controllers, you get a little of a box here seeing what what kind of um, uh, uh, situation it is, uh, what speed and height and, and what have you. And also if you have see all everything, you can even see the uh, like the uh, red side targets like here for two two uh, Tupolev's 22s moving around at 20,000 feet. Uh, you can see them here as well. And one good thing is if you select whatever you want to select here and then press the F2 button, you don't have to toggle between F2, 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 F2 to get to a two where you want. You just go to the F10 page, select a target, press F2 and you're there an instant. Isn't that cool? Yes, it is. So that's the F10 view and the F2 working together. And usually you're sitting as a AWACS here. You got a lot of targets and stuff. Or you can sit as uh, at an airport and you can zoom in, maybe find an aircraft there. No, you don't have one. Then it might be hard to look at it, but you got the F11 view. And that is to watch the airport. And it's not really above a tower, but almost like uh, like 100 meters above the tower. And uh, all the airports are here. Uh, like you can F11 your way around the whole uh, uh, map here if you wanna. And um, also, of course, you can use the zoom button to move in and out and, uh, and slew the picture if you wanna. So that's pretty cool, yeah. All right, and then you also have, if you are a Navy guy, you got the F9 view. And that is moving from ship to ship. Ship, 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 ship. And uh, also you can do, when you are at the ships, you can do the right out F9. No, no. What? Why not? You should work. <laughs> you can use the right control F9 and you move, cycle through the different um, um, uh, catapults here. That, that, that. that is pretty cool. You can also left f9 and then you'll move instantly to the uh, uh to the paddles and uh, we can talk more about that later and also if you do another right, uh, left alt f9 you go to the forestalls paddles which are a bit more old school me like all right so that's the different views there so they're pretty cool you can use this tool uh, kind of good on uh, uh, for the DCS, like for the basic stuff of it all. However, there's other tools than this, and I I'm gonna promote something which I'm not I'm not getting any money for this uh, at all or something like that. It's the uh, Lot ATC, uh, L O T A T C, and check out the web page and. Um, you can download the demo and you can uh, also buy, of course, a, a um, uh, this is the module, um, uh, a, a client version of it. It costs about 25 euros for doing it. The server ver uh, doesn't cost anything, I guess. And it's, um, I'm not into the server hacking thing a ding dung, so I don't have no idea how that works. But the client stuff, mm, I, I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think I do. Anyway. You got here a, a, a whole box of tools. You can, um, for instance, I'm, I'm clicking a target here and get all the properties here on the on your left side. You see uh, uh, positions, height and level and everything. And you can also uh, uh, have it with, with range rings around that specific targets. And uh, you can also, if you're able to control from it, you can set your radio position from it, all that kind of stuff. You also have vectors you can use here from uh, like free space or if you want to use it from the bullseye only, you can do that. Or if you want to hook up uh, two flights, you can do that and get a, a, a list. Yeah, you, you, can, you can snap it there when you have the bra uh, calls already uh, uh, locked into it. So it has a lot of use. Also, yeah, it has cool stuff here with the weather stuff. Uh, no, this was the radio. Talk about that another day. Uh, the weather stuff, you can see, of course, what kind of weather is. Oh, let me check. Uh, it, it is downloaded from the DCS server, so you see exactly what weather is. Uh, so you can tell everybody what kind of uh, Q&H it is and all that. Uh, pretty good. And you can also um, pick an airport. I'm selecting that airport. And I can zoom in like a little motherfucker and see here the... 
taxiways and if there were any aircrafts here you would see them taxiing around with their with their specific call signs pretty good and you could also use it as an approach controller so you take approach on for this instance runway 07 for Kutai C and you see the, the range um, stuff here coming up and um, you can also see up here I will move this a bit down you can of course fix these windows you got a, uh, a view here of um, uh, SRE or, or uh, uh, what could it be? It could be a, a precision approach um, ish. Uh, so you can see how they are in, in glide path and, and uh, along the center line as well. So you got a pretty powerful tool. So you can use that and it's not, it's not real, real life, but it's, um, it's getting better and better. And the, the support is awesome. I, I really recommend this, this one. So that, that's kind of good. Uh, always and also <laughs> it's pretty good. Also, if you want to talk with your uh, fellows, you could uh, use, for instance, SRS. And that is a tool. Uh, let's see if I can show you guys. Um, uh, simple radio, it's called. And I will show you this one. Here you go. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got the uh, overlay here from the radio. And you got the, the settings uh, on next to it. And you can... Um, you know, use whichever button you want to use for the different radio uh, channels you got. Uh, you can, of course, have radio simulator on to see if you have any specific uh, noise added to it. So it sounds really, really uh, uh, true to it and all that. And we have here uh, at our server, we got a ATIS. I don't know if you can hear it. Well, Right, you can put that in if, if you want to. So the, uh, uh, but that is that is another another tool, I guess. But but you have it on the radio, so so you can you can hear uh, the voice of it anyway. So so it's pretty good. You you should have something like that. You could also use the Teamspeak, uh, setting up one channel for everybody just to talk radio stuff on the Teamspeak or or your Discord, uh, whichever you find is uh, simple and and uh, uh, and easy. I mean, it should be pretty easy to start with. Um, with whichever option you want to use because you want to have fun and, and play with it as long as you can, right? All right, okay, cool. Let's chat later and uh, you're gonna uh, see a lot more videos. I got about 10 of them like in the pipe coming up. So uh, yeah, uh, I hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions or requests, just state them uh, here on my YouTube channel and I will try to answer them in the next video or so and uh, maybe make a video of requests for you i will not dance uh, okay have fun see ya